It's Chick-fil-A. They're the latest uh, victim to cancel culture from the right wing, actually is the case. Because they hired a diversity, equity, and inclusion officer a year ago. Right now, they're catching hell for it because uh, as we saw with Bud Light and with anything else, uh, it takes conservatives about a year or two to get enraged about something. Or I mean, election years to get enraged about something. Now, conservative outlets are digging up these old clips from Chick-fil-A to point out just how they've always been this bad. Or maybe somewhat in recent, the past few years have been so bad. Here's uh, Newsmax playing this clip of Chick-fil-A CEO uh, from three years ago. He was in interaction with a black uh, man. And about the racial tensions specifically surrounding the George Floyd protests and murder that happened. And this is what the CEO of Chick fil A did on camera that pissed all these people off. Now, watch. I invite folks to just to, to put some words to action here. And if we need to find somebody that needs to have their shoe shine, we need to just go right on over and shine their shoes. And uh, whether they got tennis shoes on or not, maybe they got sandals on, it really doesn't matter. But th- there's a time in which we need to have, you know, some, some personal action here. Maybe we need to give them a hug, too. <laughs> So okay, I'll need to take it, Chris. I'm just I'm wondering why he bypassed the you know the white person next to him and had to do the shining of the black person's shoes. Listen, well, just, you know he's religious. Okay, well, what's wrong with all people? But go ahead, Chris. Yeah, th- that was humiliating. Again, I don't know why he didn't shine the shoes of every person in that room. Uh, I think it would be funny if someone maybe showed up in flip flops. Maybe he would shine the flip flops. But it's pretty ridiculous uh, to to just assume that Chick Fil A. I mean. You know, I'm hesitant to make a fried chicken joke, but they sell fried chicken. I don't know how much more inclusive we can get here. Mm-hmm. Well, that kind of does it. Uh, choose the good guys and bad guys in this situation. But there was actually a metaphor that he was comparing it to, and all these good Christians on the conservative side that find themselves in these racist lines, like they got fried chicken there. I'm not sure how much more inclusive they can be, except that white folks love fried chicken. Still, this is what he was referring to, that CEO, and he was doing the shoe shining, which he wasn't doing anyway. Uh, Anyone with literacy would actually understand that this is the problem that comes with things at a church, because he's done things about uh, roundtable discussions about race at his church before. It was comparative to that story from the Bible where Jesus uh, cleaned the feet, washing the feet of his disciples as a respect. Someone from his stature could do something like that and you can work with other folks in that. Taking care of your neighbor and it doesn't matter who you are. Something that these Christians that happen to find themselves in political discussions completely forgot. But what these people on this Newsmax program discovered was this uh, line that they put at the bottom of the screen. This Chick-fil-A CEO demands, because that's what he did there, you saw it. Christians to shine shoes of black people. (laughs) Because you know, black folks aren't Christians. Only good white people are, and uh, why would they force these good Christians who are superior to everyone else to demean themselves like this guy that they worship named Jesus to shine the shoes of these non-humans black people? Where is Christianity headed these days? Uh, really fast, because the uh, the response after that racist ass joke that that guest on Newsmax said it got pretty uncomfortable, and uh, there's a familiar face that wasn't very comfortable either. Watch more. I, I mean. You know, I'm hesitant to make a fried chicken joke, but they sell fried chicken. I don't know how much more inclusive we can get here. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, Dave Rubin, let's let's talk a little bit about how, again, how the left hated Chick-fil-A and, and Dan Cathay and just despised him. And now, are we going to see the boycotts that, that Bud Light has experienced, even boycotts at, at Target and, you know, North Face and others? Even Fox News has seen for, for going more woke. Yeah, I don't know that we'll see boycotts to that extent because, you know, especially with Chick-fil-A. Target. Rate. Well, <laughs> well, I think it's partly people freaking love this chicken sandwich. It's partly because people love this freaking chicken sandwich. Uh, there's times when I, I watch what uh, Dave Rubin's response is to things as he's talking with these people that he's uh, made his friends. Um, and he's like, oh, I wish you didn't say that while I'm here because I can't say that's disgusting. Because that's what he was thinking. Francesca, your thoughts on all I don't this. know that I just like I think it's really funny though that Chick-fil-A, you know, this week, in addition, you know, obviously that's why they're talking about it and dredging up that random clip uh, and then rehashing it and being weirdly racist all over again. 
but is you know the that they that they hired a DEI, you know, diversity, equity, and inclusion like consultant for Chick Fil A, and it makes sense. I mean, look, I'm someone who hasn't had a Chick Fil A sandwich in part because I don't want to support their anti-gay like BS, right? Like I, you know, they're incredibly religious. They're like closed on Sundays or whatnot, <laughs> and like I don't know, they did like a they've like advocated for a bunch of like anti. Anti gay legislation, and I forgot the whole, but I was just like, they're they're like a toxic brand for me. You know, I'm just like, it's off limits in my mind. Now I know if I ever had one, I'd be like, wow. But like, what I'm saying is, we're in Pride Month. It is not beneficial for corporations to have an outward um, reputation as being discriminatory, as being hateful, as being a place that's only for some people and not for others. It's not a good look, right? And right. and like and so all this stuff about like pride and whatnot and a lot of, you know, a lot of folks will call it like rainbow washing, you know, basically trying to make yourself sort of corporate look like you're great even though behind the scenes you're not, which is totally real. So Chick-fil-A wants in on that. They they're tired of having the like you know the sort of Christian extremist, you know, uh, uh, like again, reputation be thrust on them. They're like, we need to actually fix this. Yeah, because they're thinking about some future profits. Uh, my biggest problem, Francesca, is I get a taste for Chick Fil A only on Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! <laughs>